Hi guys and welcome back to God's Virtual School where we just enjoy teaching about the love of God. Yep, yep, really hear this straight. We just love God. We love His Word. We love teaching and sharing His love all around the world. Yes, we do. Boys and girls, thank you so very much. And so don't forget to uh, subscribe and, and to like and to share. And most importantly, live for God as you guys are. It's very important you can share with your friends, you can share with your family, you can share with your brothers and sisters, you can share with your mom and your dad, because God's love, we want it to go everywhere. That's correct, boys and girls. That's why we are here on this platform. So let's get started with a word of prayer, and then we will have our introduction song. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so very much for blessing us to have this time together, to be able to use technology in a godly way, to be with everyone who's going to look at these videos. We want you to be glorified. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen, boys and girls. Okay, now, when we left off, it was Noah and his sons. This is very important because we're going to talk about something that's very, very important. And everybody has already seen it. Um, um, probably seen one of these. When it rains sometimes, it, after the rain is over, there's some pretty colors that God puts in the sky. Do you know what it is, boys and girls? Um, yay! Yes, if you said a rainbow, that is correct because we can see in God's Word what the rainbow means and why God gave us the rainbow, the beautiful rainbow. And anytime I see the rainbow, you know what I think about? God's love, God's promise, God's word. Yay! Okay, brother here, where did he found it? I knew it was fine, I knew it was fine. It's in Genesis, the first book in the Bible. Hey, brother here, are we gonna sing songs like we did on the other, uh, on the other channel? What song are you thinking about? You know, brother here. Genesis. Genesis means beginning. Exodus means God leaving. Leviticus means God's leading. Numbers means God's counting. Deuteronomy means repeating. Deuteronomy means repeating. Here is what they mean. Here is what they mean. Genesis means beginning. Exodus means they're leaving. Leviticus means God's leading. In Genesis, the ninth chapter, you'll see God's covenant with Noah. But you know what a covenant is? Boys and girls, you know what a covenant is? That is the agreement that God made with Noah and his family. He says, okay, if you do this, we have an agreement. You agree with me, and I agree that you are going to live for me. That's what a covenant is. Okay, go ahead and read. All right, verse number one. Then God blessed Noah and his son, saying to them, be fruitful and increase in numbers and fill the earth. Tell you what that means, brother here. That means that they are supposed to have children because there were no more children. There were um, there were no more children. There was just Noah, his wife, his three sons, and their three wives. So it was a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight people, brother here, because God destroyed the earth because of being so, so wicked. But he found Noah and his son and his wives and their wives, and they were so, so faithful to God. They listened and they were saved, just like we are today. But we don't have an ark, Brother Harry, do we? No, Joe, we don't have an ark. We have a church. A church, a body of baptized believers. Yay! That is really awesome. So when Jesus comes back, he's not coming back for the ark. He's coming back for his church. Church, the church that belongs to Jesus. That is so awesome. All right, brother here, you're getting off topic. Now get back to reading, because it's exciting. Okay, Joe, you're the boss. No, better hear me. God's the boss. We work for him. That's correct, Joe. All right, let's go down to 
Verse number seven, as for you and be fruitful and increase in numbers, multiply on the earth and increase upon it. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, I now establish my covenant with you and with your descendants after you. Never again will all life be destroyed by water or a flood. This is a sign of the covenant. This is a sign of the agreement I am making between me and you and every living creature with you. A covenant for all generations to come. But here, did you get that? Did you get that? He said, I was going to establish my covenant with you and all your descendants after you. But here, that's where we come. Boys and girls, that's where we come in. Because God said he's going to. He's not going to destroy the world again with, with the flood. And when he said all descendants, that means us. And then he said it again um, when, when, when he said that he was going to make it um, for all generations to come. We are those generations that came after that. Brother Harry, this is so exciting, boys and girls. I hope that you excited because even in the book of, of Genesis, in the book of Genesis, you will see that that's the beginning and God made a promise, he made a promise. Okay, Brother Harry, continue to read. Whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and I will remember the everlasting covenant between me and all living creatures of every kind on earth. So God said to Noah, this is the sign that I have established between me and all life on earth. Well, Brother Harry, well, that is something else. And so that's what the rainbow means. So boys and girls, you know the true meaning of the rainbow. And if somebody tries to tell you that it means something different, because you will see some people and they will they will just misuse and they will say mean things, just mean things and, and disrespectful things. And sometimes you might want to get angry and upset, but remember this, God loves them just as much as he loves you. And if God was able to say you and all those people from the sin, he will be able to sin, save those who are against him from sin. So you pray for them. You teach them about what the real meaning about God's love is all about. Okay, boys and girls, that's what you, that's what we're doing here. We're sharing God's love. And we know that God's word is true. And so we want to encourage people to live for God, no matter what sinful situation they are in, it's easy to turn to God. Make a U-turn and come back to God. And boys and girls, when you make mistakes, the same, it, uh, it's up to you. Apologize to your parents. Apologize to your teachers. Apologize to your brothers and sisters. Apologize to students. Uh, at school, you may offend because that keeps your heart pure. And God loves a heart that is pure and righteous for him. And righteous means, um, righteousness means doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do. And Brother Harry, how often do we have the opportunity to do the right thing? Oh, Joe, every day, every day we have that opportunity, every day to do what's right. We wake up in the morning and we say, thank you, God, for another morning. And we get down on our knees and say, thank you, Lord, for another day. And God, I ask that you direct my steps. You help me to be a better person. And you know what? God is right there with you. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so very much for your awesome power and your willingness to save us from ourselves, to save us from sin. We're thankful that Noah and his sons and Noah's wife and their wives were saved because they listened to you. Help us to listen to you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, boys and girls. Amen. Noah built the ark. Shem was son of Noah.